be nerfed ever. Until Riot, um, I don't think any Bruiser should be nerfed until Riot gives Bruisers a reason to be picked. The only reason to pick Bruisers right now is because A, we're used to it, B, we've actually played them, and C, they're more fun. But realistically, your pick on top, every single time, should be an AD carry or a mage. With the exception of champions like maybe Gangplank, who are kind of a bruiser, but... Mm. It's different in solo queue. You have to remember. It's important to remember. In solo queue, it's different. Because in solo queue... Um... You can get a jungler. The game gets stalled out because a team doesn't end. You can get the late game. And there's, you know, there's a good reason. Or I should say, there's a, there's a lot of power in picking a champion like Camille and just going, let's get late game. There's a, there's a lot of power in playing a champion like Fiora and being like, let's get the late game. There's not a lot of power in picking a champion like, I don't fucking know. He's like low on the win rates for high rank. Darius. You pick Darius and okay, maybe late game you could be useful if you were against bruisers and mages. Set seems cool until you realize cutting exists. They better fucking give Set the the 38 starting MR that they've been doing lately. Because holy shit, dude. I don't believe Set will be playable outside of the jungle with a kit that can't fight range champions. Uh, okay, I'm actually confused here, dude. You're saying Aatrox will do better than Renekton, and now you're saying Renekton doesn't deal any true damage or max health damage. But Renekton does a shit fucking load more base damage. Has a 35% armor shred on his E. And does magic damage with his ult. A good chunk of magic damage, too. I mean, if you actually eat Renekton's ult magic damage, like... I don't think a lot of people realize this. Let's say you fight for 5 seconds with Renekton, right? A 5 second fight with level 16 Renekton means his ult dealt 600 magic damage. For a champion whose ult isn't really that important for the damage it deals, for a champion who doesn't really rely on their ult dealing damage, that's a lot of fucking damage you get out of uh, an ult. I did not think that Q was going to hit me, honestly. I honestly think we could have gotten him. If we were on voice, I'd have been like, get him, 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 flash it! Because he's got hail of blades too, so he would have uh, definitely shred him to pieces. How does Windwall interact with my E? Or does it just not? Shit. Oh, really? I'm just gonna miss everything, huh? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Huh. 
methinks that Yasuo perhaps was ghosting my stream because that dude played so fucking very safe. The likes of safety I've never seen. I do not think it's worth it to camp this dude this hard. Like, I'm already zoning him off CS. Isn't that good enough? I mean, maybe, maybe if Lee was coming, sure, but Lee is obviously going bot. So at this point, especially because I'm playing a champion who doesn't, like, I'm playing a champion who's not particularly that strong at gank assist early game, you know? I mean, getting me through the early game against Yasuo, great. Getting a kill on him, greater. Getting me to Seeker's arm guard without issue, greatest. On the other hand, camping this hard. Holy shit, this Lee camp just as fucking hard. God, I fucking hate jungle, dude. Are you shitting me? Both junglers camped that hard and didn't even farm. I hate this season and I hate this game. Good question, why do you buy a control ward? I've never been asked why I buy a control ward. I get accused all the time of never warding. I've never been asked why do you buy a control ward? Oh, that's right, I do magic damage, so... Actually, I don't hurt this thing very hard, do I? Shit. Hmm. He might actually be able to get here in time. Okay, or not. Oh, that's cute. He bought a Negatron. Oh, that's why I didn't instantly murder him. He bought a Negatron. That's adorable. Remember the saying, Twitch chat? MR is useless as fuck. It doesn't do anything. MR is useless as fuck. Remember the say, don't use MR. Damn, if only he had a second ult and a second Q. Should I have stayed? I feel like I should have stayed. Actually, knowing Yasuo, I should go Rylai's. Or should I go Nashers? 
Hmm. I mean, advantages are going Nashers. Way the fuck more damage, more olds. More chances to hit him with E. Advantages are going Rylize. Perma slow him, likely kill him for free during ult. But less olds, during which I kill him for free, obviously. The reason I'm pushing in here, rather than trying to power farm, is that I have a good shot at rendering Lee useless through stealing his jungle. I'd have a much better shot if I uh, had gotten level 9 before this. Damn. Man. His Negatron cloak nearly saved him. But then you realize that it's useless. Because MR is pointless. Let this game be a lesson to you. For everyone who says, oh, why'd you go MR? Or sorry, why didn't you go MR? Ashinchin, he's fed. You need to go MR. Ashinchin, he's fed, though. Ashinchin, why didn't you go MR? He's fed, though. And don't, don't say, oh, but you have your E. Yeah, I'm sure having 7.5% magic pen is what caused that to work. As if Akali doesn't deal 7.5% of her damage in physical. That would even it out. Did he just place a new pink just so I wouldn't kill that one? That's... Okay. I was trying to buy some time for my cooldowns by letting Yasuo live for a little bit.
Huh. The Felios just sort of seemed to run behind me and then I was dead. Like, it wasn't, it didn't really seem like he did anything, I was just dead. I'm just gonna go Nashers. I think the only fucking hope we have is Nashers again. I don't think it's the best choice. I think it's the only choice. Because if I try normal build, I, I just won't have enough ults. I won't have enough sustain damage. I won't have enough potential like, oh my god, hard carry sort of shit, you know, to, to win this game. Well, the thing I don't get about him, it just seems like he's auto-attacking, you know? It doesn't really seem like there's anything I'm outplaying or being outplayed by. Like, he's just running at people, and they're dying. Like, he's, he's just walking forward, and people are dead. I don't know how I kill Syndra. I don't think I do. Wow, she missed everything. I mean, we're gonna lose that no matter what, so I'm just gonna take this time to get a little bit more farm. Yeah. If I do that, I can also get both these items, which personally seems like a big deal. Good bit of a cooldown spike. Oh wait, he's alive. How? I don't really understand what's going on. I'm just dead. Yeah. 
Honestly, I think I should have just gone for Yasuo there. That probably would have won it. Although, I don't know. Dude's got a wit's end. How the fuck do you get a penta? Well, a quasi penta with a fucking wit's end. How does that work out? It doesn't, like, he doesn't seem like he uses abilities. It doesn't seem like he... Like, like, did we do something wrong? Wait, he did a thousand damage. Oh, okay. Oh, because she completed death cap. So now if I get touched by anything, I'm dead. Fair item, by the way. I want everyone to compare Titanic Hydra to Death Cap. Titanic Hydra is supposed to be the late game bruiser item, right? It's only 100 less gold. Build Titanic Hydra, people will be like, wait, are you real? Are you actually a champion? I can't tell. Build death cap. Hit one ability, dead from full. Okay, why does Windwall block that? That's not a projectile. Okay.
Oh yeah, that was a direct hit on me. That would have killed, but all right. Oh, wait, we didn't even get the ocean. Oh. Look at that, 1900. Wait, was that all auto attacks? Did he have an ability I got hit by? Did I do something wrong? Is he just the new Zaya? He just walks up to you and starts autoing and you're pretty much just fucking dead? Why does he need to be so complicated if the end result is he walks up to you, you're dead? Wait, they got them both. Fucking dipshits. Was that a good use of my flash to get the brand kill? Yes, it was, I think. Mord versus super minions. If I was Aatrox, it would be at maybe half health now. That's being a little lenient. How did he get there? 
And then I'm just dead. He was here, I was here, I walk, and then he's here and I'm dead, and he also runs up to me. Okay. Oh good, they get ocean. I was just gonna die if I didn't do that. Oh. I don't know, dude. I don't know. The problem is I built, I had to build full armor, and then I went the Nashers, and then I just have these mages one-shotting me. There's literally no point in fucking reading that character's abilities, honestly. Thank you.